Hey everyone, welcome to Pawpaw's Workshop. I have here one of the very, very old wrenches. It's called a crescent wrench in my day, but it's really an adjustable wrench. It's also, even though it's very old, one of the very definite misused tools. People use this wrong all the time. Today I want to show you the correct way to be able to use this tool and make sure that yours will last a very long time. When I was a small boy and my dad would say, hey, go get the crescent wrench, this is what he wanted. One of the reasons being is right there is the word crescent, and that was the manufacturer of the wrench. We never actually called it an adjustable wrench, but it was well used in the shop for many, many years. Unfortunately, I think that too often this wrench is now overlooked and is not used. These adjustable wrenches do come in a variety of different sizes, from quite small up to rather large, and even some are bigger than this one. What I find very interesting, in many cases, it'll actually show that this is from eight millimeters to 200 millimeters. Why it shows millimeters, I'm not real sure. But if I zoom in on this one, it says from six to 150 millimeters. So I find that very interesting in a world where we still use the imperial system. And quite frankly, these wrenches will work for both imperial and metric. And the first thing I want to say is this is called an adjustable wrench. It was just interesting that my father always called it a crescent wrench and that's how I learned it. But this is an adjustable wrench because it's very easy to be able to adjust the size for any bolt that you need to be able to tighten or loosen. Now here's the problem with it. It's misused quite often. This portion right here, because it's moving, is definitely the weak point of this wrench. And let me show you both the right way and the wrong way to use this wrench. One of the first things that I used to see people do all the time is put the bolt right there at the very tip of the jaws of this wrench. And that puts a lot of extra stress on this portion of the wrench. It should go all the way down to the very bottom and be nestled in right into the base of this. And the next thing, you want to tighten it going in this direction. If you turn this way, again, this is going to put extra stress on that. And never do this. So to tighten, you want this to drop down inside, fit all the way down into the bottom, and then tighten. To untighten the bolt, flip it over and do the same thing. Put it in, and then you can turn to be able to loosen the bolt. That helps to keep that extra stress off of this portion of the wrench. And that's very, very important. Too many times I've seen these break over the years from misuse. And it's a very versatile tool that is definitely something that should be in everybody's toolbox. One tip that I want to give to you is when you put this in, you can actually put your thumb on top. That way it gives a guide for this wrench to be able to sit on and it does not have a tendency to be able to fall off. That works extremely well. To flip it over, to untighten it, you would do the same thing. Put your thumb right there and that helps to prevent the wrench from just falling down and not staying in position. This little tip has worked extremely well for me over the years, especially when I'm working in tight places. And the other thing that I'll do is I will constantly adjust this. I'll loosen it just slightly to put it onto the bolt and then I will tighten it. Put it back on, tighten it, and I can do that very easily. And that works extremely well to be able to keep it. And it begins to be where it's so easy to be able to do, your thumb doesn't even think about it. So you can loosen it, put it on, tighten it, and go. And it takes a very small amount of movement to be able to do that. So you loosen, go in this direction, tighten it this way. It's seated all the way down into the bottom. And then you can make that adjustment. And then tighten it, loosen, tighten it again, 
loosen. And with your thumb there on top, it makes it where it's sitting perfectly on the bolt head. This as well is an adjustable wrench, but it's a totally different type of design. And I would venture to say not too many people have seen this, but it does come in a small, medium, and then a large size. And there's probably even more available if you could even find them today. What I find interesting, you can see that this says 3 8 2 13 16 on this one. But if you turn it over, it shows from 9 to 14 millimeters and from 15 to 22 millimeters. I find it very interesting that they show both the millimeters and the imperial on this wrench. But this wrench just slips over onto the bolt and then you can loosen it this way or if you need to tighten the bolt you flip it over put it down on here and then you can tighten it. The very versatile wrench but again, I would venture to say not too many people have seen this one. But to properly use it, that bolt has to be sitting right down in to this portion of the base, allowing this arm to be able to come up and sit firmly on that bolt. And then you can tighten it. Or flip it over, do the same thing, and you can loosen it. So two different tools. Both of these tools are misused and unfortunately not used correctly far, far too often. I want to thank everybody for watching this real short video today and I hope you're able to learn something. That adjustable wrench or crescent wrench as I'm familiar with it as is a very misunderstood tool and unfortunately a very abused tool. So I hope this short video was able to help you to be able to understand and how to use it just a little bit better. And I hope that you'll be able to keep one in your toolbox because it is a very handy tool. I do want to thank everybody for watching this video today. Although it was real short, I'm hoping that it was very informative for you. And I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the upcoming videos. So for now, bye-bye. Can't wait to see you real soon.